I found what looks like a huge bolt completely embedded in this cow's hoof. But that was only the beginning of things to come. I also found this, this, and this stuck in different cow's feet. You're watching The Hoof GP. We don't always notice cows walking into the crush, so we didn't realize she was lame at all. But as soon as we picked her hoof up and saw this huge bolt completely embedded in the sole of her foot, we knew she had a problem. The only thing was, it seemed to disappear completely when I ran my grinder over the top of it. This cow was in for routine trim, which basically means we are creating man-made wear. These cows don't walk quite far enough, so we need to manufacture wear to make sure that both feet are the same size and therefore bearing the same amount of weight. But when we saw that piece of metal embedded in her hoof, I was certain there would be damage beneath, so I was fully expecting an abscess or a deep hole of some sort. Obviously there wasn't, so we just continued the trim. The only trouble was, this is only the beginning of what we were to find on the day you're watching us trim. The farm this cow lives on takes fantastic care of his cows, and as you can see, this hoof is no different. It's pretty much in perfect shape. But as you can see, the very next cow also had some sort of metal stuck in the sole of her hoof. With the last one disappearing when I used the grinder, I wanted to make sure I could get this held in my hand so I could understand exactly what it is. As I began to flick it out with my knife, it actually broke apart. It wasn't a bolt at all. It's some sort of shard of metal with extremely sharp spikes on the back of it, so it's no wonder it had attached itself to the base of this cow's hoof. Again though, there were no lasting ramifications from having it stuck within her foot. But that was small compared to this one. The visit you're watching is our very first time in these handling facilities. We've been to this farm for years now, but the farmer has only just built a purpose-built facility for us to trim his cow's feet in. And these are leftovers from where the builders have been drilling out holes in the sheeted tin above us. Luckily, this is yet another cow that has not been affected by the shards of metal in any way. These feet are fantastic. These are the exact example of what we love to trim. Despite the last three pieces of metal coming out without a hitch or any lasting problems, this fourth and final one could be the one that causes the greatest issue. But in fact, it's not. And I am a very happy hoof trimmer. With the best will in the world, it's very easy to miss little tiny shards of metal like this after buildings or maintenance workers have been in. But for me as a cattle hoof trimmer, looking after these cow's feet, it's a huge relief that we were able to remove them pretty much instantly. So there you have it. Turns out there was nothing to worry about at all. And in actual fact, although it looked like there were bolts embedded in these cow's feet, there were nothing of the sort and they'd only been there for a matter of a few minutes when the cows had walked down the lane that we were working in. All's well that ends well. And luckily for us, this does end extremely well because none of these cows had a single problem.